Good morning. This is Karnak the Magnificent. You ask me a question and I will search my computer and come up with something that will be totally misleading. Anyway, having said that, my name is Rusty. My channel is Rusty78609. I full-time RV. This is an RV I live in. This is the dark side of the moon because I don't have a fancy studio. I've got one freaking 12 light bulb there and that's it. And this is the sunshine coming through the window and I don't have to pay for that. Also, today is Friday, April, oops, April, cut, August the 19th, 2016. It is now 8.47 a.m. I've got on a little old golf shirt that I found the other day and I look much better, don't I? Anyway, having said all of that, got all that lead-in stuff done, I have a comment from an individual that is to it's a totally different sphere. You know what I mean? This is a totally different thing. It's not about RVing or camping or anything like that. It is kind of a philosophical thing, you know? And anyway, it says, Hi Rusty, really enjoy your channel, but mainly your ideas and thoughts about a slew of topics. Now, by golly, I do have thoughts about a slew of topics. This is not a single topic channel. <clears throat> Keep them coming. They're coming now. I was curious if you would be willing, <laughs> if I would be willing to comment, hello. <laughs> I was curious if you would be willing to comment about a movement called MGTOW, Men Going Their Own Way. Okay. In short, it's a movement about men who have decided not to marry or have any forms of relationships with a woman. Hmm. That's going to be difficult. The underlying is that women will eventually use men for their, for their resources for their own gain. Welcome to the world! It's been going on for thousands of years. Kings got bit. Anyway, keep going. Uh... If you have time to research the movement and comment your ideas, I would really enjoy that. I listen to your YouTube usernames. Da 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 da. da. Okay, it'd be inter It says uh, it is. It's interesting to me. He didn't know anything about the movement. Anyway, so <clears throat> I don't. I'm not going to do a lot of research about this. And the reason is this: number one, I'm not really into movements. Okay, because movements become like religions. Okay, the next thing you know, you're drinking the lemonade. You know what I mean? like the religious group down in South America that went with Reverend Jones and and ended up down there trying to form their own perfect utopia and one day he comes out and tells them to drink the lemonade and they did and it was laced with arsenic and they all died. So that's where movements can lead, okay? Now, having said that, I would recommend this. Be your own man. Be yourself. That's all. Because once you begin to follow or participate in any movement, whether it's religious, political, or otherwise, what happens is you begin to do things because the movement dictates that. You got me? In other words, this religion or this political group say this is what we got to do, so therefore I do it. BS on that, my friend. No, no, no. You don't want to do that. No, 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 no. You want to be you, you. Now, if you choose to select a few items from any movement and make those part of your life, perfect. Nothing wrong with that. In other words, if you choose not to get married, your choice. You know what I mean? That's part. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, a lot of people choose not to get married now. In fact, I, I dated a girl. The, the maternal instinct in a female is extremely powerful. But I, I dated a girl one time, and she was very attractive, and she was designed to have babies, you know, hips and the whole thing. And uh, she did not want to have children. And, I mean, she was extremely careful not to get pregnant. I mean, she did everything. I mean, I'm telling you, if, if that woman got pregnant, it was by, uh, like, Jesus and Mary. I mean, you know what I mean? 
but careful with movements, man. Careful with movements. Now, as far as, you know, not having relationships with women, you know, I don't know how old you are, but that's going to be difficult, man. It's going to be difficult because the sex drive in males and females is about equal. I don't think either one of them can claim that it's greater in either one. But it's an instinct. Now, you know, whenever you try to overcome instincts that are hardwired, uh, that's difficult. That is difficult, you know. And also, society, most societies, dictate that, you know, you get married and have children and do that. You don't have to do that. I agree with that. You do not have to do that. And if it's your choice not to, don't. Don't. But, but just remember to live with your choice. You know, you, you could become frustrated, aggravated, you know, argumentative with people that have other views. Don't. You know, make, you know choose your path and go. At, but don't regard other views as negative input. Just take them for what they are. Words. Worthless noise in the air that moves some vibrates and hits your ear and your ear vibrates and turns it into a word uh, just take it for that it's nothing but anyway these it's interesting that you know th that there is such a movement as men going their own way I'm you know they've had movements you know women going their own way for years and uh, you know the part about women eventually use men for their resources and their own personal gain is true and that's been going on for thousands of years and it'll continue until there are until we become just robots okay that, until that until that instinct is limited now why do women do that women do that because of security i mean if you're going to build a nest and lay eggs and raise young uh, then you want to be damn sure that you've got plenty of assets so to speak to provide for the well-being of those children and instinctively, in the female mind, that's what's ha pretty much what's happening. I mean, they, they're always building their nest. The nesting instinct of a ma female is a very, very powerful instinct, much more powerful than a man. A man can live in a damn tent, you know, or lay on the ground. A woman doesn't want to do this. She wants a nest. She wants little flowers and plants and, you know, little things around. And that's, that's the difference. And some, and some men are better off for that because a woman can provide can provide balance and harmony can can add that and uh, because if you're on the same wavelength you know you 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 get you find you a girlfriend that's not a gold digger and you you enjoy doing things together then that that's the kind of relationship that works that will work a good friendship, just a good friend. You just happen to be good friends. Now, even in a good friendship, you're going to have times when you disagree and you're going to have arguments and you're going to have disputes. Does that mean the relationship should end? No, no. It just means you got to take a deep breath and agree to disagree because that's what's going to happen. These disagreements, are, I disagree with myself. I live by myself and have for 25 years and I get in my arguments with myself, you know. I know, I know what they're about. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. No, no, it's perfectly normal to talk to yourself. A lot of people think it's abnormal, it's not. Anyway, so as far as women using men, that's not a big deal. You know, men use women too uh, sometimes because, you know, you take a young, healthy, handsome specimen, man, and an old woman that's rich, if you think he won't take advantage of her, if he can, he will, without conscience, okay? And will a woman take advantage of an old, rich man in a heartbeat without conscience, okay? And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So having said all that, that was kind of a long-winded uh, response to a fairly straightforward question, but, you know, I, I would say this. Now, again... My opinion's worth just what you pay for it. Pop. Zero. You know, take a look at yourself in the mirror. I know. I don't like to look at myself in the mirror either. Because I see an old man. You may see a young man. 
and just ask yourself a very simple question. Who am I? Okay? Then take some time to think about that. Who am I? Who am I? Once you start down that path of thinking, what you'll find is it's hard because you don't know who you are. You know, you t you know most of the time people don't really know or have, most people have not thought about what they really like in life, what they enjoy. What, what is happiness to you, to you? What's happiness to you? If someone said, what makes you happy? What would be your first response? Just boom, like that. Huh? I guarantee you nine out of ten people can't answer it that quick. Because they'll say, oh, well, you know, it's a lot of things. Well, you know, it's this and that and, you know, it's part of this and part of that. But, you know, and all that's true. It is, it's, happiness is a part of a lot of different things that comes in and you get a good feeling. But also, everything is passing. You know, everything is passing. The moment is where we live. The moment, the moment. And the moment just went, pew, bye. You know what I mean? We're already in the next moment. Nothing stands still. So, what does that have to do with your question? Nothing. <laughs> but it will get you to thinking about who you are. What do you want? You know, where do you want to be in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? You know, what, what kind of life do you want to lead? I mean, I never asked myself these questions in my 30s or 40s either. It just wasn't what you did. In fact, one of the things I t I've got two sons and a grandson, and I've told them, take time to think during the day. At the end of your day or sometime during the day, preferably toward the end or at the end or in the evening, sit down by yourself for about 30 minutes, and, and you can call it meditation or whatever, but just sit and think. Think without any interruption. No computer, no cell phone, no television, no nothing, no sound if you can. And think, and I'll tell you what will happen. The first two or three minutes, your brain's going D -d 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 all over the place. After a few minutes, so it starts to settle down, and guess what happens? You really do start some thinking then. You do. You start to think. And guess what? You'll think about, whoa, I need to, this would be a good idea. Or, you know, I could do this or that. Or, you know, I could make my life better by this or that and how simple that would be. Never thought of that before. And the reason you never thought of it before, because you never thought. Period. Anyway, having said that, thank you very much for your comment. Thank all of you for your comments. I do appreciate it. Don't think I don't. Because it makes... Uh, my channel easy or easier because whenever the most frustrating thing of having a YouTube channel for those that try to do it halfway right is to you know publish videos on a regular basis that's something you should do and uh, you know try to have something to say which I don't most of the time <laughs> sorry about that I'm working on it though uh, but you know and uh, so whenever you leave comments like this gentleman did here I assume, uh, then it helps me. And, and whether my information helps you or not, I hope it does. Maybe it not. Maybe it may be a confusion. And, you know, confusion is not bad. Being confused is uh, not bad because conf when you're confused, you're getting close. You're getting close. But having said all that, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Fini. Finished.